hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you some improvements i've done to uh mesh morpher to bone fitting in mesh morpher and uh these improvements allow us to uh take care or of uh our uh, poses uh we can have now different in the uh, poses that uh, we couldn't have uh, before without uh, manually uh, modifying the skeleton or the control rig and all that right so in this video, we're going to do two things. So we're going to uh, do a metahuman uh, with, uh, uh, without these improvements I've implemented in the latest version and one metahuman with uh, the improvements. So let's uh, get started. Uh, we will uh, start with uh, our uh, first uh, metahuman without the improvements. Let's open Mesh Morpher. Let's also open uh, the body here right and uh let's uh let's see our uh morph target that we want to bake uh, to the skeleton as well uh, this is our pose uh, this is a very complicated pose so for a default metahuman because we have bended knees uh the arms don't follow the standard metahuman pose if we uh, take a look uh, at uh, this uh we will see that uh the pose is completely different right so uh let's uh, get started and uh it's we're gonna act uh, pretty quick on this uh, we're gonna uh select our head as reference here and uh we have the morph target and uh, inside the uh, the two bone snapshot to uh, in a create bone snapshot from morph target we're gonna remove these bones that are currently here while well, we are uh updating the orientation for these bones with uh, this uh, uh latest update right so uh, let's press OK. We won't update any orientation. And uh, let's go with test one. This is going to be our first uh, experiment here. And uh, let's uh, select our test one bone snapshot. Let's update from pose. Let's enable and uh, let's, uh, let's bake. We're going to do the same for the head. Let's open the head imposer. We're gonna load test one, a bone snapshot, and uh, we will select our uh, morph target, and uh, we will uh, bake skeleton, right? Okay, our first uh, experiment is uh, completed. Uh, this is uh, how it looks so by default, and let's see it in sequencer. Let's open sequencer. These are uh, problems, uh, deformations that uh, we want to prevent occur because uh, the pose doesn't match uh, our control rig and uh, bone orientation are not updated uh, correctly. As we can see, our uh, legs are completely messed up. The arms are also messed up. Not too much, but it's there. And uh, yeah, uh, this is what uh, we want to fix, right? Now let's uh, quickly proceed with the, the second experiment. Let's uh, open a mesh morpher and uh, let's uh, go to content here and uh, let's see, this is the body and the face. So uh, now uh, let's uh, do the same thing. Let's uh, go to poser. We will uh, select our uh, uh, head as a reference mesh or let me open content drawer let me select the head and let's add it here and now uh, we will do the same thing we will go to bone snapshot and uh, now we will leave uh, our uh, bones that we want to uh, update orientation basically uh, this uh, big uh, uh, bones here right from upper arm to hand this is what we want to fix so uh now that we have these bones here let's press ok we will call this test 2 and uh, let's load it test 2 and uh, let's update it from pose our morph target we need to update it from pose and uh, let's make it Now 
Now we have to do the same for the head. We go in poser, we select this too. So select our morph target and update from pose. Now we have to also uh, bake our uh, morph target and let's bake skeleton. Okay, and now let's see our uh, uh, changes here. Let's uh, re add uh, test one. And now we can see our deformations here, right? Uh, our uh, second experiment, we can see that. Uh, the legs uh, are correctly uh, uh, oriented. So the arms are also correct. Look at the, uh, the right side. It's uh, without our improvement and the left side is with our improvement, right? So we can see exactly where the problems occur and uh, that they are fixed now, right? So I think uh, this is it for this video. Uh, I hope you like this new functionality, this new improvement in Mesh Morpher. This was kind of a pain for a lot of uh, artists out there because we were con uh, they were constrained to preserve the pose no matter uh, the character they, uh, they were building, right? So now that's not a thing anymore and we can uh, go uh, nuts with it. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you around. Bye.